The operators of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have apologized for failing to promptly announce the contamination of a well near the facility with highly radioactive strontium and tritium. They say they'll increase checks of groundwater around the plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers detected the substances in an observation well on the coastal side of the number two reactor building, but officials say they found no major changes in radiation levels in the seawater. TEPCO says it will set up more monitoring posts and observation wells. Workers will also check a nearby tunnel for clues about the contamination. Officials added they will reinforce nearby embankments to prevent the toxic groundwater reaching the sea. TEPCO officials say the cause of the problem may be wastewater that leaked into the sea in April 2011 near the number two reactor building. They say highly radioactive materials might have seeped into the well. The company has again drawn criticism for being slow to reveal environmental contamination. The timeline of the incident shows workers tested the groundwater in the area on May 24th. One week later, plant officials knew tritium levels were higher than the government set level. But they did not share the data with TEPCO executives for another 11 days. It then took another week for TEPCO to let the public know. Officials apologized for the delay. They said they were waiting for the strontium test results.